Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we are working on a 2000 Volkswagen Beetle with a 1.9 liter turbo diesel engine. Customer complaint is a check engine light. So let me get the scan tool hooked up and go straight see what the codes are. Okay, so we are looking at a P0380 glow plug heater circuit malfunction. Okay, so uh, checking the glow plugs. This is just in the component information. Glow plug system is used for starting the engine when cold. The glow plugs are used to preheat the air in the combustion chamber and remain energized until one of the three conditions are met. Engine speeds uh, reach 2500 RPM. Um, 180 seconds have passed. And coolant temp gets up to 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Current is supplied to the glow plugs directly from the glow plug relay, which is PCM controlled. And uh, it says right here, glow plug harnesses are common failure. So basically, these glow plugs receive a power from the relay and are grounded through the body of the glow plugs. So we'll do a simple check right now and see if we have a ground through the glow plugs just using a simple test light. Okay, so I'm just gonna take test light, go to battery positive, and touch on the end of each glow plug and I should have a ground through the glow plug body, should light my test light. Going battery positive. Battery positive. Touch a ground. Test light lights. Just gonna pull this harness up right here. Move it out of the way. I'm just going to touch right on the tip of each glow plug. There should be a ground. It should light my test light. Cylinder one. No light. Cylinder two. No light. Cylinder three. Test light lights. That one is good. And cylinder number four. No light. So three out of these four glow plugs are faulty. Pretty simple. Um, another check that we need to do is make sure that we are receiving our power from this relay. So I can flip this flip this harness up and expose the ends that slide over the glow plugs. So this will not turn the glow plugs on if engine coolant is above 140 degrees Fahrenheit or is it 60 degrees Celsius. So what we can do is unplug the coolant temp sensor that's back here and there will be a substituted value of negative 44 and then we could just turn the key on and go to each one so if there's no power here on any of these then we have more than one issue more than just three glow plugs that are faulty but unplug the coolant temp sensor turn the key on i should have power at all four of these temp sensor is back in here. Coolant temp is unplugged. All right, so we need to check for power at this harness. Got to switch my polarity. Now test light going to ground, and we are checking for a power supply. 
coming from the relay. Set that in there. I'm going to turn the key on and then go to each one. Test light is lit. Cylinder number one, number two, number three, and number four. What's that tell us about our relay? Our relay is good, our harness is good. And what we need are three glow plugs. So pretty simple checks right there. So we can take a look at current flow. There are two power feeds. One of these wires feeds two of the glow plugs. The other side feeds the other two. And uh, we can just see what our current flow is using a low amp probe. Low amp probe hooked up right there. I am on a 10 second screen, 20 amp scale right now. And I'm just going to turn the key on. Zero on this, whichever wire this go to that feeds. Um, it's probably one and two. Those had both faulty glow plugs. I'm just going to move this over to the next one. Turn the key on again. We got about 11 amps right there. That's even higher. Max of 14 amps. And it just shut off. So it is throwing the fault. This fault is for these first two. If I unplug, so our good one was on cylinder three. If I unplug that one, we will have no current flow at all. Keys on again. No current flow now. So what we have three open glow plugs. There's our current flow. Uh, I just plugged the known good or, or our cylinder three good glow plug back in. All right guys, so what we need here, three glow plugs. Uh, three open glow plugs, which is going to change the amount of current that flows um, when you have an open, no current flow. Um, we have one good glow plug that is drawing about 14 to 15 amps of current uh, when it's first turned on. And these are in uh, two separate parallel circuits. So that is actually going to lower resistance. Pretty simple check. Uh, you want to see a ground test light to battery positive touch on the tips of the glow plugs, you want to see a ground, and um, unplug the coolant temp, just give it that substituted value of negative 44, and uh, when you first turn the key on, I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 seconds, uh, you want to have power at all four, so you got to switch your polarity back to ground and make sure you're getting the light, and uh, check for current flow, it's pretty simple. So two open glow plugs, Sorry, three open glow plugs. One is good. I would suggest all four. Try to get a resistance value this glow plug and this known good. Leave it cylinder three. Just take this one of these leads, go tip of that to ground. And about points, 0.5, 0.6 of an ohm. 
Cylinder number one is open. Cylinder number two. Point one five two mega ohms. Let's see what cylinder four is. Point four mega ohms. Cylinder two and cylinder four might as well be open. And cylinder one is definitely open. Alright guys, so I got all four glow plugs in. Uh, just gonna redo my initial test. Test light going to battery positive. Should be able to get a test light to ground through each glow plug. There's one light. Two. Cylinder three. And cylinder four. So all new glow plugs now. Uh, just want to do one more thing. We'll take an amperage reading and call it a day. Amp clamps around both wires going to the glow plugs. So I'm going to turn this key on. See what kind of amperage draw we get. We got about 41 amps of current, 46 amps as a peak. This is around both wires. So that'll be a known good for you guys. So this one is fixed, three faulty glow plugs. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.